Coupons and pens, modular pens and vice versa. Um, you know, uh, figure. You know, I figure that we have you know great things that come out now and then, and I think these actually have a lot of a lot of pull to them, so because they, you know, they say something for yourself. You know, they say something. So, what we have right here. Let me clear this off. I'm gonna have the basic. Hinder, hinderer investigator pen. And copper. You can tell I beat this one up. Real simple pen. Uh, not that not that large. About four about four and a half inches, five inches. Has a small war tip on the bottom, small stainless, I want to say stainless or aluminum tip. Threads in, then out comes a Fisher Spaceman refill. That's how you reload it, and that's how everything stays together. These come with an O-ring. They, uh, the O-ring is meant to secure that that tip. A couple places on this already got a small bit of like oxidation so it's starting to turn that antique copper green I like so that's the Hinder investigator pen next we have a one, a, one of a kind from Germany my friend Andy Niederhoff my leather guy sent this to me uh, he had a friend make it screw top all tie except for the refill I guess the kid who did this, he's going to college, so he doesn't really do them that often. To refill it, this little nub on the back, which you can use for pressure points, comes off. And then you just put a face pressure space in there. So that's kind of cool. Uh, ooh, no bueno. Yeah, he has a small plastic standoff in there to... Uh, Make sure there's a constant pressure on the back of the pen. These things haven't really been too, um, well, like I said, these guys make, the student making these. It's a one of a kind, so I mean, what do you expect? It's like, certain, he, he jerry rigged it basically. There's no need of a spring. Writes beautifully. And, uh, well, I'll show you right now. And then I got this today in the mail from Teresa on the USN. Everybody knows her. Great woman. I expected just a pen because she had told me that she was going to send me a pen. She sent me and wow, bam. There's some uh, there's some shameless some shameless plugging. No, these aren't available at Mojo Tactical. Just giving a little plug. <laughs> sent me the imp almost like very well sought after titanium modular coupon set and why this is a modular coupon is because well let's set it up this is from hinderer all tie we got the long body probably gonna end up getting a short body when they become available at monkey's edge let's say i want uh so let's see look at the tips right here so we have a long body in here with the warhead tip warhead is just a titanium spear basically we have the DNA catcher crenulated tip. Believe me, that thing just grips. And then we have kind of a tip that go. You, you, there's only reason. Only reason I have is if you're gonna have the pen on there. Is these two. This is the actual pen tip. And then if you don't want the pen to be attached, uh, to hold the cap, you can screw this on the back of this, 
tip and it goes in the back of the pen. So then, basically, let's put this all together then. All right, people? Then we'll do size comparisons. All right, we'll do size comparisons. So, all right. Um, it comes with several, the two tools to help assemble this. Make sure you have a tight fit. Uh, there are no O-rings in this. So let's see, we're gonna take the Endurer long body. Also, you see those uh, holes? Those holes are, can serve several purposes. What they're gonna serve for us is we'll set this up in the pen configuration. So you pick a side. Um, I'm gonna go since the inside of this is kind of a copperish. I'm gonna go with this back end. Be the back end. So screw it on, hand tighten it. Stick it in that hole, in that one of those holes, because all these pieces have a hole. Use that to tighten it. The pen part does not have one of those, so you have to tighten the long body to it. Tighten the long body. Doo -doo -doo cover. Alright, oh, forgot the pocket clip. I'm retarded. I'm retarded. And he reverse threads on a lot of these so you don't end up unscrewing the thread. The pocket clip goes right here. And since he has the hinderer l logo on one side, you can kind of use the other end as where you would think about possibly etching your name into it. It's a flat pen space right here. So that right there doesn't sit right there. The flat pen, alright? And now we have this in a pen configuration. I have been warned about these because uh, TSAs are starting to notice tactical pens a lot more. Now you have the pen set as a coupon in the back, so keep your cap. So basically, the, the back end is to keep the cap on there. Thinking about getting this already, uh, get it, sending it out to some friends that have it anodized. They get like a bronze, deep bronze, almost the same bronze that they use in the back of my Sniper Blade Works folder. Also, the reason why I put up Mojo Tactical is because, cha, went out, bitches. Exactly. They're ni uh, he was nice enough to, to get together some of his infamous um, Hello Kitty patches that were sought after at the show. I want the uh, Stormtrooper for my sister. Kind of want it for myself as well. Take it to, out to the field. That will freak with, fuck with some people. Plus, I'm a bit of a nerd. So that's if you want it set up as that. Now, if you just want a Kubaton, just take your pieces. Spin, spin, spin. Spin, spin, spin. Insert. Insert. Tighten. Just hand tighten. Now you have a coupon. Or if you want, you can fish some 550 cord through these holes and you can have almost a Yarwa. So you can use that to. If the sailing gets away, DNA catcher. And the cool thing is, is you don't see this on coupons that often. You can set it up so that it does have the pocket clip now you have a pocket clip on your coupon Mm -hmm. And another cool spot, I thought about another configuration, was, doo -doo -doo. Okay. the cool thing is that I love the fact that he sends this all in a sort of like, 
small pelican case. So if you want to feel like, you know, a small little bit of a badass. It reminds me of uh, those movies when the mercenary pops out like a his own pelican case and starts like disassembling a gun. So that's kind of a neat thing. Now, I just created a long body with long spear tip. So if you needed to, you can get that behind muscles and use that for trapping. It's real deep penetration hits. Assembles in minutes. Think about it. If you got, if you wanted to travel with this, you could pack it in your suitcase, throw it in there. You know, no one's worse for wear. All right, I got to cover how these things are gonna write. Also, so give me a second while I disassemble this so we can put it into the writing function. That's no point now. Rick Hinder did a great job at um, machining these out. Okay, there's that. Okay, so put the writing function. Okay. Handy dandy. Notebook. So, I mean, these write pretty decently. So, all right. Okay, there's that pen. Okay. There's that pen. And here's that one of a kind one pen. This one actually has a really cool function. You can actually, it has an adjuster on it. I'll explain this. Mickey Yurko showed me how to do this. So, I mean, really good. Really clean, right? You know, I scribble like a third grader, but real simple, right? Now I'm going to adjust it. So, okay, so we have large scribbles like that, right? Now adjust it. Now we have small scribbles like that. <laughs> if you didn't get the joke, then I don't know. It's kind of corny. So those are coupon slash pens. I think they have great function. You use them anywhere, and uh, you know, just be safe and know that you, whatever you're carrying is a tool, not a weapon. A pen is meant for writing. A pen is meant for, you know, well, just that, writing. So don't go out thinking you're Mr. Badass because you got a fucking $300 pen on you. All right, people? I guess it be safe. Watch your backs. And uh, stay tuned for more stuff. I'm more than happy to have you guys uh, subscribing. Very happy to have everybody commenting and very happy to have everybody um, participating so thank you very much for all that people uh, you guys are really keeping me on my toes I'm always thinking about better ways to improve so. everybody have a great day and be safe and uh, stay tuned for the next one